What's up guys, it's Jay with JW's TTMs here with another TTM video. Through the mail autographs, I send some cards out in the mail. I do pay the postage, and then I pay for the postage for it to come back, hopefully signed. Uh, if you guys have any questions on what I do to do that, just let me know. I use Sports Card Forum and sportscollectors.net, which is 15 bucks a year. They're both basically the same. You could probably get your money's worth out of the one for free, because it's free more than paying 15 bucks, but do as you please. So three returns as normal. Um, I do actually have a non-vintage return today. I'll do that one last. Um, this return is two of two success plus a letter in 10 days from Oakland, California. Mr. Nate Oliver, no fee, 65 tops on the Dodgers, which I already had this card. And then I saw he was on the Yankees, and I was like, well, I got to get him on the Yankees. So here's a 69. He actually looks like somebody I know, like almost a twin, which is kind of freaky, but it is what it is. And let's see what he said in the letter. He said, is there any specific at-bat from your career so far that stands out for you? Uh, he said, not one at-bat but four at-bats against the Padres in June of 69 at Wrigley where I had my best career game, or best overall game. Um, he said uh, a good duel with a pitcher was with Juan Marichal. Um, a pitcher he enjoyed facing was Bob Gibson, and then he said, LOL, but I had some success against him. Um, and favorite teammates, Tommy Davis, John Rossborough, I think, Jim Gilliam, Willie Mays, and Don Kessinger. I did get Don Kessinger back, TTM. And then, did you keep anything from your play, playing days? And he said, maybe a jersey top. So he might have. He's not sure if he has it. And that's from uh, Mr. Nate Oliver, which I thought that was the fact that he like listed four different um, answers to that first question. I thought was awesome. So thank you, Mr. Oliver. Next return is, um, I've gotten this guy back before. He signed two of three cards and wrote me a letter. And I think answered questions in my letter too. So this one will take a minute. It's from former Yankee. This came back from Columbia, South Carolina in 28 days. I sent him three cards, he signed two. 62 tops, Bobby Richardson. But I think the last time I sent to him, I sent him three as well, and he only, he signed all three, but he didn't, he didn't um, put his number one inscription. I don't think, maybe he did. 58 tops, which I really like that card. And I like the 62, obviously. And then he didn't sign a 61, which is fine. I'll probably send to him again, just to get that signed. He always sends this. Mickey Mantle, his final inning. He talks about his friendship with Mickey Mantle. He was one of his best friends. He was a pallbearer at his funeral. Sometimes he signs back here. He's never done that for me, so he must not like me. Just kidding. Um, let's see. Questions, questions, questions. Um, I did ask him. I, I have two of his books. One is actually from 1965. And the other one's a recent book. And I asked him um, how much he would charge to sign them. And he, in his letter, he wrote, letter explains because he wrote me another letter. So, so is there any specific at bat from your career that stands out? A great duel with a pitcher? Or is there just one pitcher you enjoyed facing? He said, I'm not really sure what this says. I had a game where Dean Chance was pitching and he was especially tough for me. It was a one nothing game where... Something hitting a home run to right field, Yankees bullpen, where me hit a home I don't know what that says, but I like, I like that he answered anyway. And did you keep any stuff from your playing days? This was actually a really cool answer. He said, I do have a picture in the original frame of Lou Gehrig on his day at Yankee Stadium with Babe Ruth in street clothes, and it hung in our clubhouse for years until Maris and Mantle... 61 hit 61 and 54 home runs and they replaced it with the m&m picture clubhouse 
Pete something gave it to me. That's the guy's name, Pete Stanley. It's a treasure in 63 something, the Lou Gehrig Memorial Award. I won, maybe, I don't know what that says. And presented by his father at Cal University. I think that's what that says. Sorry if I butchered any of that, but I love that he wrote that. And then his letter on Bobby Richardson stationery. This is from February, as you can see. Jordan, please feel free to send me, to send the book my way and I will be glad to sign them books and send them back to you. There is no charge for me to sign, but some send, sorry guys, some send a little something that helps me with my time and having to go downtown to the post office here in Sumter. Hope you like the mantle, his final inning. I send something with each piece of mail I receive. And then he signed it, Bobby. So that was really cool. I'm gonna keep that one. Not that I don't keep any of these other ones, but I really like that he sent on a personal, um, you know, whatever that's called, stationary. Next one I got, I think four back? Three. Three back. Guy's currently uh, on the Rangers, but since I'm a Yankees fan, I sent him Yankees cards. So three of three from Nick Solak. Here's a Topps Minor League from 17. Oh, have this backwards. He does personalize, he wrote to Jordan. I guess I should show you guys that one, which I'm fine with, I don't care about personalizations or anything. To Jordan. Uh, this is a Topps Pro debut from 18. Yep. On the Trenton Thunder, who I actually used, to, when I lived in New Jersey growing up, the Thunder were originally a Boston Red Sox affiliate. And I used to go to their games when actually Nomar Garcia Parra was on them. And Jeff Supan and this guy named Porkchak Poe. And then the third one is his first Bowman from 16, also with the Yankees. And then he did answer some questions in my letter. Is there any specific at bat that stands out for you? And he said, my first hit against Andrew Haney. And I did ask him if there was anything he kept from his time with the Yankees. And he said, I can look through my stuff, but I might have a bat from when I played in the Yankees organization to give to you. But he didn't tell me how to contact him. So I'm sure that will never happen. I did message him on Twitter, but I haven't heard back from him. But either way, I appreciate the sentiment and the possibility of getting a bat from him from his time with the Yankees. So just want to thank Nate Oliver, Bobby Richardson, Nick Solak. Probably going to send this to you again, Mr. Richardson. So get ready and those two books. Guys, you know what you should do? You should like, you should share, you should subscribe, and you should hit the bell for notifications. I'll see you next time.